Hey, this is David Morelli from the Awaken Radio Show. Yesterday we had a Zen master on the show, and he's going to be talking about the integration of the Eastern philosophies, the Western philosophies, them coming together in a usable form for you to be able to apply in your life. Here's some of the highlights. We're calling this show Zen Waken Your Life. You know, this is the Awaken Radio Show, and we have a Zen master here today. So um, Genpo Roshi is his name. So welcome to the show, and uh, today we're talking about uh, Zen wakening people's lives and Zen wakening the West, you might say. You know, the the waking up to the power of, in a way, the intangible and making that intangible have a real effect in the tangible in our lives. You know, uh, as you're talking about that, w- one of the things that I've described also, which fits perfectly with your model, is um, related to any kind of attachment, particularly money. What people will do initially is try and grab onto money. You know, money is the only thing. And then they'll say, oh, well, let me push that away. I've been enlightened, you know, so I'm going to push away money. Then I'm going to separate from it. And they go all the way to the other side of the triangle that you're talking about. And then eventually you reach a place where you realize that money is also part of oneness. Money is also part of the experience of life and the richness of life. And so you get out of a competition with one or the other and you, you're able to include. And does that fit for you as, as you're absolutely. talking about the model? Yeah. No, absolutely. I, I mean, I'm really appreciating what you're saying. I mean, money is maybe just energy, you know, exactly. it's a way of moving things around. It's, a, it's an energy. And most of us have, whether we realize it or not, a pretty unhealthy relationship to money. Either we cling to it or greedy for it, or like you said, we have an aversion and we see it as, as bad or, or dirty, you know, like, right. uh, but what we're really seeing is that our greed for it needed to mature. In other words, mm-hmm. we needed to grow mm-hmm. up in our relationship to money, to that energy, and have a mature and healthy relationship to money, with, which also means to the marketplace, to the world. Mm-hmm. And I, I totally agree that, I mean, I did it myself, 1971. It's also a pleasure to have Jeanette joining us here on the line. Um, Jeanette, are you with us? I am. Hi, how are you? Hi, I'm great. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. Excellent. All right, so um, I'm tuning into you energetically, besides just what you're saying, and, you know, uh, I'm also tuning into you energetically. And one of the things that I see, um, if you're ready for the, the coaching to begin, the integration to begin, you ready? I am, yes. Okay. Um, so, and by the way, for everybody who's listening, here's how this works. We're all connected in an energetic field. And we're connected in this energetic field as points of awareness, you might say. And one of the things that I do, but also, and that I learned to do, uh, is to tune in across a distance to the energy within this continuity. It sounds a little odd, but um, I also teach people how to do it. It's called the Awakened Coaching Program. I teach them how to do it to help transform other people's lives. And you can make a business around it, which is really fun. And everybody, by the way, has the ability to do it. So with that said, as I'm tuning into you, one of the things that I uh, see energetically is that there's a way that you um, kind of beat yourself up for when you fall off your intention, right? Are, are you aware of that part of you that's kind of, it's kind of like a dominatrix in a way, <laughs> but without the, without the, the kinky part, you know, it's more like you're, you're sitting there with a whip. And if you fall off your intention, it's almost like you start to beat yourself up, not just go, oh, darn. You know, it's more than no oh, darn. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Um, you know, I've always been a perfectionist. You know, that's like an old hereditary culture that I come from. And, um, you know, if I'm not doing it perfect, then, yep. then I go on this. This uh, roller coaster, like you say. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, you're yeah. you're uh, you're right. Yeah. Um, and I'm not interested in really being right. Rather, I'm just interested in serving you. So uh, I appreciate that. But um, so here we are, right? And you were talking about your intentions when you go into meditation. And for everybody, this applies to you wherever it is that you are, right? Regardless of whether you have an intention in your life or you have an intention going into a practice. But since you have a practice, Jeanette. Um, let's use that as a doorway. Um, what I'd like you to do right now is start to, um, are you sitting by chance? 
I am, yeah. Okay. Um, so go ahead and sit upright like Empo Roshi was talking about. Okay. And become aware, like he was talking about the shadow, become aware of that part of you that beats the heck out of yourself. Right. Again, I know it's a little dramatic, but that's if you were really to tap into the energy, there's this intensity to the perfectionism. And if you were to give that a quality or a feel, let's say it had a color, let's say it had a, a texture to it, how would you describe that? All right, so those are some of the highlights. To get the full show, go to Awaken on iTunes.com. And also come to Awaken.com forward slash radio and get the integration meditation from this show. You'll love it.